Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. Happy Monday to you all. Yes, 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 it is Monday and I'm your health educator Tanisha Lawrence and this is your Monday, Monday Meds. So yes, it is Monday and it is the really the first Monday that I am on set for this month. So happy August to all of you. Happy August to all our new viewers, all our new subscribers. Happy August to all our old subscribers and viewers. And yes, if you have not subscribed yet, definitely subscribe so you can know when we have a new video out. So yes, it is August. Thank you all for your well wishes for our anniversary. And um, for those of you who expressed condolences to us on the passing of my father-in-law, thank you. Many of you know that my husband's father died um, about three weeks, three Mondays ago actually. And um, so we are in the preparation of the funeral arrangements and um, it is planned for the last Sunday of this month the 25th so keep our family in your prayers it's quite a lot to do it's quite a lot to balance personal life and ministry business as many of you know we do offer you products and for for those of you who are our new customers welcome welcome to our family welcome to the monday meds family and yes for those of you who have been following us on uvc radio where we do our monday meds health nuggets welcome many of you have listened to the um the features on stroke um, today and also we talked quite a bit about beating the heat in previous features so yes we do meet on UVC radio on UVC radio every Monday and Thursday at 1130 Jamaican 1130 a.m. Jamaican time and also which is 1230 Eastern Standard Time so that's New York going up that coast into Canada, Toronto, and that time zone, all the way down to Florida and back. All right, so thank you. Thank you for um, joining us today, and we will be short today. I really came on here to encourage you to deal with your stress. Deal with your stress, or your stress will deal with you. Deal with your stress or your stress will deal with you. You have to find ways of keeping your stress level down. No matter what is going on in your life, in your family, at your workplace, in your church, no matter what is going on around us in this world, in our community. I know there was a mass shooting in Clarendon. I think it's Cherry, Cherry Hill or Cherry District Sunday night. That's last night in Clarendon here in Jamaica and condolences to the family families who have suffered who lost loved ones and those who are battling for their lives in the hospital or prayers are with you and the families who have lost loved ones it is so tragic that we have heard of numerous shootings in Clarendon and it is my appeal to the Minister of Health Dr. Tufton and the Prime Minister, the Honorable Andrew Holness, to do, get some statistical um, research done to find out what is going on exactly in, what exactly is going on in Clarendon. Why are there so many mass shootings? The, the major one we heard of about a year and a half ago was about this mother who, whose cousin killed her and her four children. And now this is a major one. Eight people died, about 17 people were, sh um, were shot, and about eight people, so far we heard, died. And we pray no one else will die from this situation. But what is going on in Clarendon? I'm really concerned, really disturbed about, even when I go into Clarendon, I am really nervous. Um, 
nervous not because of um not because of fear for my life but there's just something that is going on there in Clarendon that caused me to pray harder pray harder when I'm driving through Clarendon and even when I go there to visit and so that's my appeal my appeal to the government of Jamaica the government of Jamaica land we love do a, a statistical research whichever means of research to get the information accurately as to what is going on but I'm believing I believe firmly that there is there are some demons that are working overtime in Clarendon. And I call for the people of God to pray, to pray and seek God's face for a breakthrough in Clarendon and all over Jamaica land we love. The crime situation that's going on here must stop. And I know what maybe influence the crime rate is lack of jobs and also the stress level that our people that we have been faced with. I don't know in that section of Clarendon how badly affected you were by Hurricane Beryl, but it is my encouragement to you, um, to the people, to the residents there in Clarendon to really cry out to God for divine intervention. And we cry out to God for divine intervention all over Jamaica land we love. Whatever demonic oppression is over us, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We cancel every plot of the enemy to destroy us and to destroy our families. And so that's my encouragement for us today, that we keep our stress level low. Deal with your stress. Get help. If you feel overwhelmed by what is happening in your life, get help get psychological help get support get therapy speak with someone if you can't afford therapy there are free counseling available that you can get as we wrap up Monday Meds today I'm reminded of the Word of God that reminds us great peace have they who love thy law and nothing nothing shall offend them I pray you'll have a wonderful week, everyone, and God be with you. To support our ministry, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.